This past Christmas, I celebrated this season alone at a monastery called Einsiedeln Abbey in Switzerland. Why? Good question. For the past two summers, I lived, worked, and prayed in a monastery called St. Meinrad Arch Abbey in the middle of nowhere southern Indiana, and it was the best summers of my life. And apparently, the monks who founded St. Meinrad thought that the rolling hills of Indiana reminded them of home. Einsiedeln Abbey. Questionable. Debatable. Indiana, Switzerland, I, 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 I don't really know. But, you know, I thought, you know, might as well see for myself. You see, this past Christmas break, I didn't go home because the break was too short and the flights too expensive. But there was also another reason. I wanted to. I wanted to spend Christmas alone. I saw it as a test of independence. Could I enjoy Christmas alone, whereas most people I knew were surrounded by family or friends? In my mind, if I could do Christmas alone, then I could do anything alone. So I made the journey and spent four days at Eidensiedown Abbey. I arrived on Christmas Eve right in time for the midnight mass. And after I checked in, dropped off my luggage, and changed, I walked into the cloister church and I was immediately entrenched in beauty. A string quartet played preludes that resonated against the Baroque draped walls. I sat in the monks' choir stalls, surrounded by decorations more ornate than the last. Latin Gregorian chant flooded the church with the sound of filled pews reciting our common creeds and responses. And there was this one moment during Mass that I think I'll always remember. After the end of communion, the lights dimmed so that the only things illuminating the church were the candles on the altar. The choir began singing Silent Night in four-part harmony in its original language. The orchestration swelled and diminished throughout the measures, and the assembly joined in singing from memory this carol embedded into their hearts. They sang as if they traveled back into a simpler time with the loved ones they wanted to hold on to. The mass was simply beautiful. Yet in the midst of this beauty, this experience that I had anticipated for for so long, there was one place I wanted to be, home. Why? Why did I want to be home? Wasn't this insanely immaculate experience enough for me? For the rest of my stay, I wrestled with mixed feelings of feeling blessed to be here and not wanting to be here at all, with the question in my mind, why couldn't I enjoy Christmas alone? It felt like I had failed my test of independence, that I had to depend on others like my family and my friends to enjoy this time. And this failure kind of struck me hard. And I don't really know why. Maybe it was because this whole past year during my time abroad, I worked really hard on being independent, self-reliant. I moved to a continent that I had never been to, to a country where I didn't know the language and knew no one. I learned how to navigate a new city by myself, how to somewhat cook, how to set up a bank account in a foreign language, how to solo travel. I learned not only to survive alone, but to thrive alone, to be more comfortable spending time alone and truly alone, not just distracting myself with music or books, but confronting myself and my thoughts. I built my self-esteem so that I was emotionally reliant solely on myself. And I have grown so much in my independence, and I'm proud of my independence. But in this pursuit of independence, in this obsession with self-reliance, at some points I felt more isolated than ever. I did not allow myself to tell my friends how I was truly feeling, I did not allow myself to go to anyone for advice. It was me and only me that was my focus. It was me and only me that I relied on. But sometimes I slipped up. Sometimes I relied on them to help me navigate a disorganized school or stupid French bureaucracy. Sometimes I relied on them to reshape my worldview through conversations and confrontations of my own. Sometimes I let them get so close to me, it kind of felt dangerous. With the act of relying on not only myself, but on others, on choosing to rely on them, I have grown so much, and so much more than I could have possibly done by myself. 
it is important to have a sense of self-esteem and reliance to love and accept yourself. It is important to be independent, but it is equally important to let others in, to let others shape you and mold you, to give yourself to them and have them give themselves to you, to know on some level that their actions have an impact on you, that they can make you happy or sad, enraged or joyful, to know on some level that you rely on them, and that is okay. In a way, I am glad that I failed my test of independence. I am glad that I missed my family, that I would have rather been with friends. I think maybe one day I can enjoy Christmas alone. Maybe I can do everything alone. But I don't think I want to. For I love my life so much more with having people to rely on. That is why that moment in Mass was so beautiful to me. Why singing Silent Night with everyone struck me. For some, it was a time for holding the ones they relied on. And for others, and for me, it brought us back to a time where we once did.